Hey guys, welcome to day number three of our God Time Devo. So glad you can join us. If you haven't already, look in the description link below and grab a God Time card for yourself. Um, everything works out a little bit better when you have the materials on hand. Um, so open that up, download it, save your device, and follow along with us. Um, we've been going through um, Philippians chapter 2, verse 3 through 8 this week and just taking it uh, line by line. And, and I gotta say, I'm just so amazed at the power of God's Word because just simply because of the fact that it's God speaking and the simple words He's using to communicate. Like today, we're looking at verse 5 through 7, and it says, As you deal with one another... Now, this is God. He's speaking to me, speaking to you. He's saying, as you deal with other people, because I know you have to deal with them. So when you do, you should think and act like Jesus. Okay? And then verse 6, he says, in his very nature, Jesus was God. Jesus was equal with God, but he did not take advantage of that fact. Instead, he made himself nothing. He did this by taking on the nature of a servant, and he was made in human likeness. So God is telling us, um, when we deal with people, which is every day, we should do it like Jesus. And then he goes in to describe who his son is. And he is so proud of his son because he goes right into saying, listen, Jesus was just like me. He was equal with me but he didn't take advantage of that. Instead, he put others first. And so I want you to think about uh, the fact that God is speaking to you and he knows you have to deal with others, work with others, put up with others, and he knows it's hard sometimes. So he says, think and act like Jesus because he is the greatest example. And what did he do? He gave up what he deserved because he was equal with God, and he made himself nothing. Now, that word nothing, it's a powerful word because of what it means that, that Jesus did. He, he was God, and then he became nothing, which is hard for us to understand because who watching would want to become nothing? Nobody. We all want to become something. But listen to who's speaking again. God. He says he became nothing, which means there's, there's something powerful about becoming nothing, like becoming a servant, uh, becoming uh, someone who looks out for the interest of others. It's not that he became nothing like a zero, like a loser, but he became someone who cared about other people. And so look at God's word, read verses five through seven and ask God for wisdom Ask God how you can think and act like Jesus. Ask God what it looks like to become nothing in your life. Because I promise you, it looks different from God's perspective than it does yours. God has great plans for you. And when he says, be like his son and become nothing, he's got something great for you on the other end of that. Thanks for watching.